everyone, my name is Gauri and our guest today here at the Foundations TV is Meena Sundaram, the ever smiling, happy and bubbly personality that you might have seen around here in most of the events that happen in the New England area. Meena has this uh, unique spontaneity around her that galvanizes everybody that comes close to her and makes her a natural choice, first choice, uh, by the nonprofit organizations as well as local community groups when they want to bring an idea from a concept to reality. With her energy, intellect, as well as practical skills, it is no wonder that she involves herself in a diverse set of activities. Most of us do know her as a cardiologist, as well as the sweetest voice of New England, but she also does a lot of other things. She loves playing tennis, um, she loves cooking exotic dishes, as well as loves traveling, is a music lover, and in the past has also directed and written a play. So um, we're really excited to have Mina here with us today and with all these activities that now we know she's involved in. We would like to start with our first question. All right, Mina, welcome to the Foundations TV. And our first question for you today is, if you had a day to yourself where you didn't have uh, a to-do list to catch up on or any deadlines to keep in mind, then uh, what would you end up doing with that day? Thank you, Gauri, for inviting me. It's a pleasure to talk to you, first of all. Oh, a day off. That's always everybody's best dream, right? I would wake up late and I would go for a nice long walk, uh, smell the flowers, talk to people, talk to my neighbors, um, come home, maybe have lunch with a friend, listen to some nice raga-based music, uh, pick up my son early, play with him, maybe take him out for ice cream and uh, maybe cook dinner for my husband, which might be a pretty big thing to do, I do it once in a while. That's about all I would do, I guess. <laughs> so it looks like it's a blend of everything, all the different activities that you enjoy doing. Right. <laughs> They're going to be all part of your special day. And uh, I think that also leads uh, us to something that I have observed about you while working with you, that you are absolutely uh, very, very wonderful with, uh, with people, with friends. And what I've seen about uh, you, Mina, is that uh, everybody everybody feels so comfortable uh, when they work with you. I personally would like to add to that uh, as a compliment to you that when I was working with you for uh, Kavali, um, you know, there was, there was obviously opinions and there were different things that were going on and it was not easy to coordinate with so many of us. But none of us felt that there was any sort of difference of opinion. You make things so easy and so comfortable and so positive around you that everybody felt that we were all together as a team and every felt everyone, each one of us, felt so proud of being a contributor to that Kavali. So we did have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure to have all of you with uh, me and uh, I just love uh, coordinating and being with so many beautiful women. It's, 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 it was a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> so our next question to Mina is that, uh, you know, she's involved with so many different things uh, all the time, activities and uh, events and at home, being a mom and a wife and a doctor, so many different things. Uh, we all have, you know, days where we will have our high energy and we will get everything done, but then we also have days when our energy level is really low, those low days. So what is it that uh, makes you get up on those days, Mina? What lifts you up and what gets you going? Uh, that's a very good question, Gary. Uh, you're absolutely right, you know, one doesn't wake up every day like the Energizer Bunny, so um, definitely um, I think what motivates me is the purpose, the focus on things that need to be done and the enthusiasm that I have with working on a project with all the people that are in the project. And so there is so much to organize, coordinate and talk to that um, I think the motivation comes, you know, from that. In addition, there's always the sensation that as long as we don't complete our goal, um, our work is not done. So one does plow through no matter a good day or a bad day. 
That's wonderful. So there is uh, there is a blend of uh, a to do list kind of banging <laughs> at your door that you gotta do it, and also that energy that comes from within yourself, uh, from your mind that you have a long term goal and you need to achieve something. So that is something incredible. Okay, we'll be right back after a short break. like to hear from Meena about her next, uh, her current project which is Saha Bibi or Guru Dutt. Yeah, thanks Gauri. Um, this is a project that's been very close to my heart. I have been working uh, and interested in Guru Dutt life and his story for the last few years, particularly so when I've been doing research on the subject. And it's, it's fascinating to me, his creativity, his uh, personal demons that he had to deal with, his uh, relationships with his wife, the famous Gita Dutt, and uh, Vaidya Rahman, uh, that whole angle. And uh, some of the people who worked with him, who became uh, stalwarts and celebrities due to working with him. So I wanted to present this in a very in-depth, focused way, really, um, so that people get a look at the man, the people he was with, uh, his career, his life, and, and uh, leave knowing a lot more about Guru Dutt than someone else might. Also hoping that the new generation learns about this fantastic director. As you know, Piasa, one of his films, is considered one of um, uh, 100 best films ever by Time magazine. I'm also very, very honored to do this event for Snehalaya. Uh, which uh, was featured in Satya um, uh, a few months ago, uh, who was doing fantastic work with um, rehabilitating prostitutes, sex workers, their children, and um, their education, health care, all their needs. And uh, it's just a wonderful combination all around. And we're so lucky to have such a wonderful team of people in this area who have taken this project uh, as their own and are all helping to make this happen. So hope to see you all on September 7th. So um, this is this is absolutely uh, lovely information that we got from you right now. I'm also interested to know, because there's so many different events happening, what makes Saha Vivi or Guru Dutt unique in itself? Um, I think what we're trying to do in Saha Vivi or Guru Dutt is try to tell the story of Gurdaji's life um, in the context of his career and his personal life. So we're doing a bit of um, a chronology of his um, films, in addition to all the things that happened and people he met and people he worked with. So we're doing a, com a complex of scenes, um, some narration about his life, songs, in, the, in, in a very chronological way. We're also involving a lot of actors uh, from the area to perform um, as actors. Basically, we have people performing as Devan and Madhubala. Mm -hmm. You name it, all the actors that we are performing scenes of. We have, of course, singers uh, singing a bunch of songs. And we have artists uh, who are actually going to be helping um, um, uh, with paintings that depict these wonderful movies and use them as some of our stage design. So we're trying to get all the arts, uh, music, dramatics, and um, visual art um, incorporated in telling the story of Guru Dutt. That's a truly beautiful concept and a very nice combination. And we would absolutely love for all of the audiences who are watching this video to come and see this uh, beautiful combination that Nina is creating on September 7th, 2013. We'll be right back after a brief break. What I want to hear from Meena now is what is her key to success? Personally, what is it that always, always works for you, Meena? Um, I think what is important um, to me is to really believe in what I'm doing. Um, I'm a very project-based, topic-based person. So um, I like to focus and then develop that idea with, uh, you know, 
it you know as you know it takes a village for anything to happen so you start with a seed and then you add all the ingredients water sunlight etc get the right uh, environment for that seed to germinate so every idea ultimately is about it the whole process has to be so much fun and at least i you know i hope it is fun for everybody involved so it becomes a really a journey that we follow and uh, that i think to me keeps me going you know, in addition, I feel if you have an idea, you have a thought, um, work on it and do something with it rather than let it be forgotten or wither away and die. So, uh, you know, as long as you uh, one has that feeling that they want to do something, they just have to do it. I guess. <laughs> I think this is this is uh, this is truly you, Mina, mm -hmm. because. Um, I, I totally agree with what you just said, that if you believe in it, uh, you will make it happen. And uh, I've seen uh, Meena believe in it so beautifully and so passionately that everybody around her, like I said in the introduction as well, also gets motivated and feels part of the journey. And that's something that you do and you create that congeniality around yourself. Um, even so many months ahead of time, we're we're still in May, that's and right, that's right. the show is in <laughs> September, and right. everybody I've met in the last couple of weeks is already looking forward to this show because they're also part of this show. They can feel the energy flowing into the community, and this is this is what I think that makes you unique. And that's what makes this show unique. So um, congratulations for that. And that is something of beautiful, beautiful quality. To so have Mina's in presence itself is very, very inspiring to those around her. And I think uh, those who have a chance to get mentored by her are extremely lucky. But uh, all those people who are listening to this interview or will be reading this interview, we would like to hear what Mina has to say to them and what is your motivational message to people who are starting out in this area because there's so many people who are now getting into, uh, you know, unleashing their creativity. Um, I totally agree with you, Gauri. I think um, creativity is a gift that should be used um, very, very well, but very wisely. Um, I think a creative person should be motivated by the desire to achieve their dream and to achieve what they want uh, rather than um, any desire to beat others um, or compete with others. So as long as one is true to one's um, idea, concept, um, they can create. And you can absolutely be creative working as a team member, um, uh, knowing your role in a project and helping you know your, your friends and we're so lucky in the England area to have a community of people where we help each other in our various projects we all take leadership at various levels and the other um, members um, join in and assist each person in achieving their dreams so this is really a community being creative uh, which is very important that is such a lovely message for everybody who is starting out. I think that is also the essence of the Foundation's TV, which is uh, comparisons should be used as an inspiration and not as uh, to enhance a competitive spirit uh, within yourself. So it's not about beating other people or moving ahead of other people, but it's about moving ahead of yourself and pushing yourself to reach your own potential and keep growing and enriching your life. Yes, it is about entertainment, but Absolutely. it's also about Absolutely. enriching your own life and for those around us. Thank you so much, Mina. It was absolutely wonderful to have you over today and talk to you. And I'm totally in love with you. <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours, I have to tell you that. <laughs> I have to say the feeling is mutual. I, I do appreciate your inviting me to Foundations TV and talking to me and asking such wonderful questions. Uh, again, you know, I'm just happy to be where I am and be able to help uh, do events uh, for charities and fundraisers. So It was so much fun so talking much. to Meena Sundaram today. And uh, I would just like to reiterate that the new uh, show, which is the Saha Bibi or Guruta, is coming up September 7th, 2013. And we look forward to seeing all of you there. This is going to be in the Keefe Tech Auditorium in Framingham starting at 5.30 sharp and the tickets are already available on Lokwani as well as Boston Desi Connection. So please go ahead and reserve your seats. This is going to be one incredible show not to miss. 
Um, we're going to have a lot of fun and it's also for a beautiful cause which is uh, for Snehalya and um, this is actually an organization that was featured on uh, Satyamay Vijayate which is uh, the show that Amir Khan did. So please go ahead, uh, we do have a Facebook uh, event which is listed so you can go ahead and join that so you start getting updates for it and we look forward to seeing you all.